Hello, Internet. Hello, Henry. And welcome back to After Campfire. Season 20 to 21, I guess. It's, I don't know how many years we've been doing it, but it's the year of 20 to 21 because we're going to do this till 2021's summer, unless. Who knows? I don't know. I have no idea what's going to happen when we get to that point. But right now I'm here. It's September. I'm in my apartment. Now I know what you're wondering. Why are you saying it like you're not normally in your apartment? I have not been in my apartment for a month. Henry came. We recorded that video in my house with my parents' house. It's where I lived for a month because of my hip surgery. I got hip surgery. If you didn't remember that, I did. Um, I'm now actually able to walk around somewhat well, but like... I still have to carry the crutch with me just in case I, like, fall, because then I won't be able to get up. But, like, better. Um, I'm in my apartment. I'm doing really nice. I bought a car. I bought a car. Did you buy a car? I don't know. I mean, Henry has a car, but, like, I have a car now. That's my car that I bought. It's a Subaru. I bought it. I'm really happy. Um, uh, I started teaching again. Why? Because I need to do that to make an income and live in an apartment on my own, which is where I live right now. And it's virtual. I'm teaching virtually at this desk where I always am all day, every day. So, like, I'm a little bit sick of being at a desk. Because I didn't get into teaching to be at a desk. I can't get into teaching to stand and move and walk around during the day, which is a really wild concept. But now I can't. So, um, I'm teaching virtually. It's not actually going that bad. Um, my kids are really great. I do, I do enjoy their presence and the job that I'm doing. It's, it's pretty fun. Oh, I'm so reflective because of these glasses. I don't like how reflective that is. Anyway, I got um, the blue light glasses because I stare at a computer screen all day, every day, for like hours on end, and it sucks. But I got these glasses, and they work, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Um, but I'm here, and I'm so just like... <laughs> which is a nice way to say I'm exhausted all the time. Um, but yeah, so that's my life. It's like a really quick rundown of what's going on with me. Um, I am very happy that we're doing these again. Very happy to be working again. I'm very happy to be living on my own again. Um, And that's what, all I have to say about that. I'm very happy that Henry is working again because it makes me happy for my friend. And I'm very happy that, like, I'm just a person. And that's cool. I have no other words. I'm, I'm, I'm today. But I uh, should just move on to my own question. Which is like, where's the state that you want, that like you enjoyed traveling to? And I went to Indianapolis, Indiana multiple times with the FFA, and I loved it. It was so much fun. Indianapolis is a, is a delightful little city. Um, it's got all the things that a city should have. It's got a Shake Shack. It's got a, uh, what's it called? Steak and Shake. I love Steak and Shake. If you, Henry, if there's one thing that I can give you advice to do, is go to Steak and Shake. It's Steak and Shake. It's Steak and Shake. Yeah, Steak and Shake. Oh. They're open 24 hours. Well, not now. Nothing's open. COVID has just ruined living. Um, but it's good. It's okay. It's a great place. Um, I went there for FFA. For I got my American degree there. I went there as a state officer. I loved it. And then they switched us to Louisville for like two or three years. And we very quickly realized we did not fit as like a group in Louisville. We were too big. So they had to put us back in Indianapolis. And it was so cool. Um, so yeah, one day I'd love to go back there either for another FFA convention or just for fun. Um, but with that in mind, Henry asked me the question of... Um, What's it like the weirdest travel trip I've ever done and like cause for travel? And there's actually a really direct, simple answer to this. I think it was about two years ago. 
we went to um, Toronto for my brother's bachelor party. And we were there, and it was so cool, and it was great. And I got, um, I, I at one point was in a not great state of mind due to substances um, that I had uh, drank. I don't remember what it was, but don't agree with me. Wink, wink, nod, nod. Uh, and I called my friend Lucas and my friend Pat, and I said, we should go on a road trip to Toronto. And I was, I, I didn't even remember having this conversation, but I like said, like, we're going to do this road trip, and we're going to do it at the end of summer. It's going to be great. And like, I was so gung-ho for it that I convinced them that we should do it. And then they held me to that. So the weirdest road trip I've ever been, it was like a, it was an eight-hour drive that we split between two days. Um, but the, <laughs> but we drove and we did this whole trip because at some point I remember say I, I said something like, and they just held me to it. They're like, "Yeah, you think this? Okay." And then they were like, "We're doing this still," and, they were, and I was like, uh, "Sure, yeah, okay." And now I'm here. We actually like are gonna make that into a consistent thing. Like we were supposed to go this year, but COVID, you know, stop that from happening. So we're gonna try again next year to go to Toronto. Um, so it's a lot of traveling, a lot of stuff. <sighs> Henry bought a desk, and it's a beautiful, beautiful desk, and I'm going to talk about it later because I'm so tired, but my question to you is, what is one piece of furniture or, like, one thing that you are very particular about, about how it looks or feels, like, what's one thing that you have like a very specific idea as to what it should look like. Like how I need my desk to be this kind of desk that I have. You know, like, what is that one piece of furniture that you think needs a certain kind of look to fit your aesthetic? Like, do you need an extra comfy couch? Do you need a large bed? What is it that one piece of furniture that you need specifically that it, that like has a reason for it? Answer that question. It's a weird one, but trust me, it's going to be fun. All right. Goodbye.